Alright guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are gonna be uh, um, making the system that lets us change our weapons in game. And yeah, let's begin. So first let's open my weapon server and let's make a new function for changing our weapons. So local function, change weapon. Um, and in here, we're basically gonna have all those attributes and not uh, this attribute but all of the them these then we can also copy all of this and um, then we can also stop every animation so if equip animations uh, player, then equip animations player stop. And, and that also for the idle animation and for the unequip animation. Okay. Uh, but now we also need to pass through our player, our character, and our torso. Okay, uh, not our <laughs> not our car, our character. Um, and then we can copy this, like uh, call this function down here. And now we can um, also. Um, yeah. Have a new attribute and uh, not have a new attribute, but um, connect uh, a function to uh, the uh, um, yeah, to the attribute changed signal um, for our current weapon. So if our current weapon gets changed, um, boom. Then we first of all, or we, we can already call the function also. So when uh, our weapon gets changed, our current weapon, so this one that is normally the sword at the beginning or whatever you have. And with, when that is changed, we call this. So we reset all attributes. Then we... Um, and then we basically copy the new uh, weapon from here. Basically what we already did before. Uh, if you're wondering, and because, because you don't have this part, this is what we made in the first episode. So it's not too important that you don't have this. But yeah, and we'll also stop every animation. Okay. And, but here, if the weapon gets changed, we, we would still have our old weapon, but we don't want this, so let's do for I uh, weapons in pairs, weapon models, get uh, children, do, if character, uh, find first child, weapons, dot name, then Character franchise weapons dot name destroy. So we go through all of this we th those weapons that we have in here, and then we check in our character if he has one of those weapons inside of his character. And if he does, we are destroying them. Okay. But now we actually need to have something that switches our weapons. So I'm just gonna uh, have three parts because I have weapons so this is our um, yeah our first part let's just uh, yeah bit in the air and get okay and this is our get um, rapier part and let's add a proximity prompt 
um, and let's add an, uh, an attribute that is a type string and it's called get weapon and the weapon we want to get is the rapier okay then we can copy this for our other weapons then that is here we get our sword let's also recall this to get sword and then this is get fists and we get the fists here then we can also still change this to this the action text of uh, our proximity prompts and get sword and get rapier okay now let's make a new script in a server script service you don't have to do this you can also make yourself another way to change your weapons but i'm just gonna do it like this just always make sure that you change the current weapon attribute and then it should um, already be fine okay so uh in a script in make a new script in service script services and let's call this good weapons and here we are gonna uh have again uh, a for loop and let's just uh, do for i parts in pairs then workspace get children because those three parts are all are all the direct children's uh, of workspace uh, do if uh, parts get attributes get weapon so if the child has an attribute that is called get weapon for our case this would just be those three, part, three parts then we want to continue um so uh, <clears throat> um so um then because we have a, a proximity prompt directly as a child of the part, we can do parts dot proximity prompt um, dot triggered connect function. From the proximity prompt, we can get our player. And then let's head, uh, have a an uh, bool value that is stop and that is false for now then now let's loop through every of our every animation of our uh, character so for i in anims uh, in pairs player dot character dot humanoid dot animator get playing animation tracks uh, do and then if the animations uh, that name is swing one or swing oops uh, swing swing one swing two swing three or swing four uh, make sure those are named like um yeah those um then if a current animation track is called like that then we want to st set stop to true um and also if our player character our player characters uh attacking attribute is true then we also want to um, set stop to true so then if stop then return and so if stop is true then we don't want to continue and we don't want to change our players um, current weapon but if it's not true it continues here and then we're just simply gonna do play a character um, set attributes 
um, current weapon to the parts. Um, yeah, get weapon attribute because this is a string and yeah. And now let's oh, now let's try this out. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't know if I said this, but this just goes through all of the get playing uh, of the currently playing animation tracks in the animator. And if one of those tracks is uh, one of the swing tracks tracks then we uh, don't want to let the player equip their weapon because if we let the player equip their weapon while swinging um, um, it will kind of bug out and we don't want it. Okay, so um, let's just uh, try this out first so we can switch through all of our weapons. That is good and if we equip them and change to another weapon Everything also works fine, and we can't change our weapon while we're swinging. Okay, perfect. Um, this was it with this short episode already. Um, I yeah, I don't want to promise anything, but next episode is uh, maybe the beginning of finally the beginning of uh, the blocking system and after that the parrying system is also gonna come but yeah thanks a lot for watching and have a great day see ya